Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to attempt to make distilled water based on a YouTube video that I watched a couple of days ago. And the reason I was watching a video on how to make distilled water is because I now have a Venus flytrap, which you would know about if you saw my last unboxing video, which came out a couple of days ago from your perspective. And I should have, I suppose, realistically researched what type of water these things need before buying it, um, but I thought I could just use regular tap water like I use for my other plants, but I can't, that will kill it. So I need distilled water. I can also use rain water, but it's not due to rain for days, um, so I would collect some of that otherwise. And distilled water is not the same as deionized water, um, so I can't use that, which is easy to get. But where I live in West Somerset, that's virtually impossible to get. Apparently there is a shop down the road, but I only discovered that after spending all afternoon driving all around, and I could not be bothered to go back out again. I bought some off Amazon, which uh, should arrive in a couple of days, but my plant this needs water now. The soil is really dry. Um, so I'm going to attempt to make some. Now the video I saw was just a few minutes long, it was like, boom, 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 distilled water. Easy. It's not that easy. Um, so first of all, just uh, getting a pan and a lid that fits, I found was a bit of a mission. This lid doesn't go with this pan, um, but it took me a while just to find ones that fit. Um, and I didn't really want to do this because I don't have a lot of gas. Um, where I live, I'm not on the mains and I've only got half a bottle of gas left. Uh, so um, I, I was a bit reluctant to do this, but I don't want the plant to die. I mean, I've only just got it. I don't want to kill it straight away. Um, now, boiling up water and then letting it cool down again is not how you make distilled water. And the silly lady in mine head garden center suggested that to me and if I did that that would kill my fly trap really quickly and here's a little graphic explaining why. On this graphic I'm going to show to you why the lady in the garden center was so wrong about heating up water and then letting it cool down again. Uh, so if I add my water in here, sorry my drawing skills are not that impressive so that is water in a kettle, okay? Now, water has impurities in it. So let's um, put some impurities in it. There we go. Uh, minerals, other things. When you buy mineral water from a bottle, tap water isn't exactly completely 100% uh, water. And so basically, this is water with the stuff in it. If I was to then heat the water up, some of the water is going to evaporate up in as steam, like that. As it does that, the level of water in the kettle will go down, like that, because it's evaporating away. So, but the minerals stay the same. And then this would just keep happening. The more you boil it up, the more the steam would evaporate everything. So it goes away up as steam, and then the more water would go down as it's uh, evaporating away. So now the amount of water has dropped, so the ratio between the water and the minerals in the water is gone totally the wrong way, which makes the water even less good for the plant. Now, distilled water is where we capture that water, the steam somehow, like so, and then we pour it into a container or some vessel. And then that way, the water, the steam comes here, it condenses along here, drips down here, and then fills this up like so. And uh, then there you go, pure water no impurities, perfectly good for the plant. Right, so hopefully that made sense. Um, so first of all, I need to get some ice um, to put on the lid. And so I had to uh, prepare this video earlier. I found some containers, they're old curry dishes uh, from the local takeaway, filled them out of water, put them in the freezer, hopefully they'll be cold. 
All right, so here's my ice. Um, the reason I need ice is for um, recondensing of the uh, water, because you evaporate it, it needs to condense. I better get some water. Now I'm gonna boil up the water first because I don't wanna use up too much gas, because when if I run out, I'm out, and I'm, I can't really afford any more uh, for a while, so. I'm just going to boil up the kettle first to uh, get the water going. Alright, so the kettle is now boiling away. I just uh, need to wait for that to finish. And so what we do with the ice, basically going to stick the ice in the lid. I need to cover up this little hole here so the steam doesn't come out. Alright, so uh, yep, covered up the hole nicely. That should do. So now I just need to wait for the uh, kettle to boil. Alright, I now have one boiled kettle which I don't want to let cool down. I'm going to pour that into the pan and then uh, heat that up further. And what you do, you put this on upside down, put the ice on hit the top, steam will go up, hit the bottom of the lid, it will condense, drip down to the center, and then down into this, which I shall use to collect the water. And this is actually the uh, dish I put my uh, plant pot in. It's actually a, a doggy bowl, but it doesn't matter. I got it from Poundland. It fitted. So it's fine. So, um, and then I can plonk that in there and then the plant can drink and then hopefully the leaves will open up because uh, if you look, they're actually all closed. They've been closed since I got it. And they're probably going, we need a drink. It's, it's suffering right now, basically. It's really suffering. Here is the bowl in the center of the hot water. The bowl is currently completely empty. So I'm going to put the lid on, I hope it fits, I haven't actually tested it with the bowl in, that's fine. So that's um, a good seal. And now I'm going to put the ice into the lid, which is already melting. And then the water steam will come up, hit the cold surface, condense and then drip down into there. So I'm going to turn the gas on help it along and then hopefully I'll get some nice pure water. All right so uh, the ice is now filling the lid up with um, melted water so I need to get rid of that because I don't want it to overspill and go everywhere um, so that's going to be fun taking that off. Okay it wasn't actually too bad I just took the ice blocks out put them back in the containers I just tipped the lid up so the water went into the pan without going into the little bowl in the middle and um, yeah so yeah that wasn't too bad and I uh, just let it finish and hopefully I'll get enough water for my plant and then uh, the stuff I ordered on Amazon should arrive in a few days so this is just an emergency. All right, one thing I've uh, realised which is kind of obvious if you think about it you don't want too much water in the pan because then the bowl in the middle will float up touch the lid and then the water can't condense and drip into it so um, with a bit of uh, juggling around I've emptied a bit of water out of the pan so the bowl in the middle is now firmly sitting on the base um, so the water can actually drip into it now much easier. Right, and now have some distilled water. It's a little bit hot at the moment so I'm not going to put the plant in it just yet. Wait for it to cool down and uh, then hopefully that will be uh, good enough until um, the proper distilled water that I've ordered off Amazon arrives and uh, it will stay alive long enough to get some good water. That should be, uh, it should be good enough. It's just that this is expensive to make it like this all the time. Boiling up the kettle using up the gas. It's not very efficient doing it like this. I just could keep it in there longer. I mean, this is still steaming away, but um, it wasn't really condensing anymore. My ice is melted. Um, so, yeah, I'd probably get another few drops out of it, but I think this will be enough for now. And then I'm hoping the leaves will open up because the instructions say if your Venus flytrap is looking poorly, feed it some flies or some bugs. I can't do that as long as they're all closed. So I'm hoping the water will encourage them to open.